Howdy people. Today I'm going to be making a bone broth and bone broth is amazing for so many reasons that I can't even begin to talk about them. I'm going to link below an excellent um, YouTube video with Dr. Axe who goes into a lot more detail about bone broth and why it's good but it's good to um, it's good to boost your immune system, it's good for weight loss, it's good for your bones, your teeth for calcium, magnesium, potassium, anything that's good in these bones is basically going to be drawn out into the water. We're going to drink it and we're just going to infuse ourselves with all of this amazing collagen and all these nutrients and minerals and all this good stuff that comes from the bones that we are not really consuming nowadays because bone broth is like a thing of the past. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to make a bone broth and it does take about 24 hours, but it is worth it. So I have, for my bone broth, grass-fed beef bones. And if you can't get organic, make sure you do get grass-fed. Grass-fed is more important than just buying any old bones from any old place. You do wanna get grass-fed organic bones if you can. If you can't, try and get grass-fed. I got these from my local butchers um, had to see them sawing uh, the bones and everything. So these were only like one pound each. And I'm going to roast the bones with some onion, leek, carrot, garlic, and celery. I'm gonna roast that to really get all of the flavors out. And I'm following a recipe by Tamika Mosley, who is like my guru when it comes to health, especially seeing as her, she's been on such a magnificent journey with her son and i bought her book when i was pregnant with sean sickle cell journey um natural journey all about natural healing and she is definitely a person who i would go to and trust when it comes to natural healing because i know she does her research and i know that her kids life depends on the research that she does so that's the reason why i am in with what she says so I'm going to try out her recipe, bone broth, vegetables, roasting them, and then I'm going to simmer them in my slow cooker for 24 hours. Let's do this. So I'm not going to go over the top and cut too much of this or cut it into little bits, but with leeks, if you trim them one way and then, ah! upwards you can kind of loosen all of the mm, it smells amazing areas so that you can sort of rinse away any dirt straight in there I'm not going to take the um peel off we'll give them a bit of a wash just taking the top off Gonna get all of the goodness from the peel as well. Not gonna waste the thing, mate. Oh, it's too much garlic, to be honest. Save that for a rainy day. This is all going to go in the oven to roast for about uh, 40 minutes to an hour on a really bit of low heat. Ooh! Smoking. Ow. Wow. Okay, so this has been like absolutely ages now. Um, I actually forgot about it now? for a while. Mm. Yummy! Crunchy, crispy, ready. So this is all gonna go in the slow cooker. Ready for roasting. I'm 
going to pour my filtered water from the burke. And I'm going to leave this to simmer, slow cook, on low for about 24 hours to go. I've got 24 hours to go. Yeah, let me let me know, let me in the studio. I've got 24 hours to go, my brother's done. <laughs> I'm going to add a bit of salt and I'm going to add a bit of pepper and turmeric and a couple of bay leaves in there as well. Spruce John, I may. I'm also going to put some apple cider vinegar. Organic apple cider vinegar, about a cap and a half, maybe two caps full. And that is going to draw out all of the goodness panda bones then. So that is ready to sim sim up. Ooh, got the broth from a bim up. You know? Sim sim up, one broth, pum mid dinner. I don't know. You try and think of something better. This has been going for 48 hours now. So I'm going to turn it off and leave it to cool down. Now it's cooled down, all of the fat has solidified on the top, so I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of all the gunk in there, and package it up and put it in the fridge. Okay, so this has been a really long process. I have um, strained the vegetables to get this, this bit of juiciness here. I poured so much of it in the sink to try and pour it through the um, sieve. Shayla, So yeah. So this is the beautiful liquid gold that I have been left with. I've put a little bit in a pot for freezing and I have taken the fat off. I'm going to use this over the next couple of days, keep that in the fridge to do all my frying in, anything I'm going to cook in. I'm going to use this fat because I'm not going to waste a thing and then I've saved a few little pots that are going to go in the freezer. And that is it, that is the bone broth done. So I guess I should try a little bit. It's not warm, it's cold but bon appetit. Oh, it's lovely. Like a bottle with benefits.